In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use ChatGPT to improve your SEO. I was able to rank number one on Google for this YouTube video on how to invest in ChatGPT, which led to me getting thousands of extra views on YouTube. So how exactly did I do it? Let's jump right into it. I'm going to be using this article as an example. Intel slashed their dividend by over 65% yesterday, so it's been a really hot topic, and a lot of articles are being made on this right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and paste it into ChatGPT. So what that's going to do for us is I've already done that. And I typed in optimize this post for SEO. So that's going to optimize the post for search engine optimization, meaning you'll rank higher on Google or other search engines, maybe even YouTube, and people will find your video leading to you get more volume and more traction. So what it did is it made this a lot more concise. And it says in this article, we discuss Intel's decision to slash its dividend. And you can see it's a lot more concise and less spread out than this first one. So you can already tell that this article is going to rank better. But we need a title. We need a description. We need a lot of things that are missing here. So can you give me 10 titles that are optimized for SEO for this article? So that's going to give us 10 titles that we can choose from that are going to be catchy and very click clickable and going to be optimized for SEO. So as you can see, it generated 10 good titles that are optimized for SEO. But how do I go ahead and pick from these and know that it has the keywords I want? Well, we can use different websites like vidIQ or even any keyword research website like moz.com. VidIQ is going to be specifically for YouTube. So let's go ahead and use moz.com here. I typed in Intel dividend cut to see what the monthly volume is for some of these keywords. And I can even see some of the titles and URLs of the articles that are already doing well. I can learn more about the difficulty, the click through rate and the priority. So I can see here that Intel stock is usually what's searched for. And if I go back here, none of the titles actually say Intel stock. So instead of this, I'm going to type in again because I know that this is going to rank high on Google SEO. I'm going to say, can you give me 10 titles that are optimized for SEO for this article with the keyword Intel stock? So you can see here that it generated 10 more titles now with the keyword Intel stock in all of these titles. So I feel like these titles are going to be more clickable as it has the good keyword. I really like this first one, Intel stock falls after a company slashes dividend by 65%. I think it's really clickable and it defines exactly what happened. So if I type this in and say, can you write me a meta description? Optimize for SEO, of course, for this title. So what that's going to do is give us a meta description, which just means kind of an overall synopsis of what the article is going to be about. This is going to help people kind of read the summary of the article if they don't have time to read the full thing. And it's going to tell them what it's going to be about. So here it wrote it saying Intel stock has taken a hit after the company announced a 65% reduction in its dividend. This article explores the reasons behind the cut and how it's affecting the stock price. Learn more about Intel's latest financial developments and their impact on the stock market. It's extreme, extremely precise and it's to the point and it gives you the exact information that you so finally, using all this data that we've been given, we could copy and paste this into a blog post website such as Medium, and we could use this whole SEO article. We could use this title that I got for us here, as well as this meta description. So that's kind of how we're going to optimize articles for SEO. But how are we going to actually rank ourselves using keywords on things like Google? So how was I able to rank on Google for this article? Well, what I did is I used vidIQ and I found keywords that had high traction. So if you just search ChatGPT, we can see that how many people are searching for it and what the competition is like, meaning how many people are making videos on it. So a recipe for success will obviously be high search volume and high competition or low competition. Obviously, that doesn't exist always. But if we kind of add in a couple more keywords to see what it would be like, Let's type in how to invest in ChatGPT. So the overall score is a 67 here. Now we're getting a 52 overall score, but we can see that the competition's really low when it comes to how to invest in ChatGPT. If we take out how to, it's still extremely low. What about pre-IPO? 
even more specific. So sometimes the more specific you get, the better it is when it comes to searches because people are going to find your video if you're a smaller creator or your blog post as opposed to just making a video and titling it chat GPT, right? No one's really going to find that video, even though there's really high search volume, you're going to get a lot of impressions, but you need to make people click, right? So the best way to make people click on your video is one, getting them, getting it in front of their face, right? So how do you get in front of their face is with good SEO. The second thing you can do is obviously have a good title and thumbnail, and that's going to give you good click through rate. And that's why this video was able to do pretty well, but let's give you guys a real world example now of how I would optimize an article for SEO from scratch here. So let's say instead of a video, I want to make a blog post and rank on Google for how to invest in ChatGPT. So as you can see here, I've already done some research on keywords and we know that pre IPO is a pretty key thing to separate myself from the pack here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a new chat and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me an article on how to invest in ChatGPT pre-IPO optimized for SEO. Pre-IPO optimized for SEO, including a title and meta description. So let's see what ChatGPT is going to output. I'm back. I made a coffee in the meantime. Cheers. Took a while to generate that response, but here's what it generated. The title is investing in ChatGPT pre-IPO. We have a meta description here and it gives us a really, really good article, I think, and even assess the risks, evaluate the growth potential, understands the business model. It does a lot of things here that I really like. So instead of just copy and pasting this into a website like Medium to post this as a blog post, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this into Google Docs first. And what that would allow me to do is to make whatever edits I would like, and I can add in things, let's say for my video, right? A lot of things for my video are not in this article, right? About talking about indirect ways of investing or how to get even access to pre IPO, right? There's no, nothing said about that. So I could put in a way, an article section here of how to access, you know, the pre IPO. And then there's going to be different ways. I can talk about coastal ventures. You can talk about, you know, ways to indirect invest. And what I would do here is I would create this article to be my own, to make sure it's not plagiarized. You can actually go ahead and copy and paste this into Grammarly for a free plagiarism check. And after that, I would go ahead and upload it, knowing that it's going to be optimized for SEO. It has a lot of the keywords that are going to hit. And on top of that, I know that the title is extremely optimized too. It has the word pre IPO. It has the word investors, has the words chat GPT and has the words invest. I hope you guys can use chat GPT to rank on Google, just like I was able to with this video. And it'll hopefully drive you guys more traffic to your websites. Thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.